sentence is death. Hello YouTube, this is Blood Bounty here, and uh, today we're going to play an old game, but uh, I just want to show y'all this game because I think it didn't receive as much credit as its uh, former game, which was uh, Terraria, and that's Pixel Piracy. Um, basically, my New Year's resolution is to make uh, more than just a video, uh, one video a year, so yeah, uh, I'm going to try to do it monthly now. So anyways, see, right here we have uh, Pixel Piracy, and I've already put six hours into it, which seems like not that long of a time, but on this game you can get pretty far pretty quick if you know what you're doing. Okay, so first off, um, you're going to have uh, a pirate that you start off with, and it's going to be like your, kind of like your captain. Um, basically... Uh, this top right uh, number right here, that's uh, your level. Um, and then this top left is like their morale. If it turns red, they can start a mutiny and then like get fights with other pirates and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so anyways, first thing you want to do is you want to read um, what stats uh, you got for your captain because this, this is going to be your main guy. So, uh, yeah, he, he's adventurous. Uh, he's a sickly build. I th This right here, I don't think it matters much because... Um, my, my captain kicks butt all by himself, so... But anyways, and uh, then this kind of tells you, like, their background and all that. Really, the only thing you have to worry about is uh, this right here, because this can affect a lot, like, um... Like, this one's adventurous, and that's my captain, but retard right here, um... He is dumb, as dumb as a bag of bricks, and this guy, he literally committed suicide one time and ran off and drowned himself, so... <laughs> you gotta be careful of that kind of stuff. You gotta look at it. But anyways, okay, so now... Uh, TP, uh, these are uh, total points. You can put total points into these right here, or you can make them learn a book, which, oops, I don't believe I have a book with me right now. No, but okay, but it'll look like a little brown book. But anyways, uh, strength, this is damage, uh, vitality, HP regen, um, intellect. You, for for your main pirates, you want to have um, a high intellect so they can level up, you know, pr uh, pretty decently, uh, and, you know, not be stuck on one level for a while. Uh, dexterity, this is uh, how much damage they can do. Um, like, well, I mean, like, total damage, like, uh, like how much, like, how often they're going to hit and all that and how quick. Uh, agility, this is, this has all to do with uh, dodging and all that. And then luck, this is the last thing you need to worry about. That's about percent crit and how often they're going to do it. But anyways, um, best passive uh, ability in the game is definitely the Ancestor's Mask, as you can see, is plus one TP on level up, which that's pretty big. Uh, you'll have to choose um, uh, certain things right before you're about to create your uh, pirate in your server and everything, or not your server, your pirate world, but anyways, um, one of them is like get, getting a Falcon Blade, which I've leveled up quite a bit, and um, then also you'll have a ranged weapon, which you won't have to worry about till later on in the game, but anyways, um, so yes, this is my crew. I have 15 pirates, and uh, then you can also collect animals and stuff. But anyways, as as completely later on, I'm just showing you this is what you can do, like once you really play the game like a lot and you're really comfortable with it. So anyways, we're gonna take on a legendary pirate. There's oh, there's that's like the main goal and aim of this game is to take on legendary pirates. There's four of them. I've already killed one. We're gonna take down one today, and. Uh, then uh, I'll show you kind of how tavern life is, maybe an island or something like that. But yes, I know this is an old game, but I believe it did not get enough credit, and so we're going to shine some light on it today. So, anyways, um, your pirates, uh, <laughs> they'll be have different jobs assigned to them and everything, and. Um, one of the biggest jobs is cleaning the poop. Like, okay, so my captain just leveled up. Okay, hold on before I talk about it. Go ahead. So, uh, you have this little uh, uh, <clears throat> icon right here. He'll have this right here, and that means he's a poop cleaner. This is a, a cook. Uh, this is somebody who mans cannons. This is somebody who fishes. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, my captain level up. He gets three TP, and I'm going to put that all into intellect because I want him to keep on leveling up super quick. And um, then we're going to probably go with dodge. So if we max out dodge, like, he won't be able to be 
hit at all, and that'll be really good. So anyways, this right here, this is the percentage of uh, how close you are to uh, wherever you chose on the, the world map. But anyways, yes, this is a legendary pirate. They do not have cannons, only level 5 pirates have cannons, and if I had some, um, oh, whatchamacallit, if I had some cannonball set right here, then my uh, three cannoneers would be firing cannons on them, which is good if uh, you're kind of new to uh, the whole fighting process or whatever. But anyways, boarding phase right here is in six seconds, so I'm going to get all my people uh, where they uh, board, and you you got to know that. Okay, so I pause it right before the first second so I can have optimized time, and then I'm going to send every single person over. Since some pirates are a little thick in the skull and don't like to follow directions, what you want to do... Okay, that was really retarded. Literally all my, my pirates just fell off the ship. Now, if they didn't have the swimming ability, they all just would have died right there. But good thing they, they got it, so... Anyways... When you're doing a really hard fight like this, you want to check your uh, pirate's life, because this, this right here, this is the number about their pirate's life. And uh, so far, everybody's doing good, not getting uh, hurt too much. Really, they're all teaming up on Capitan right here, which that's... They're going to try to kill the captain first, but that's just how it goes. So anyways, yeah, a lot of them just fell off. Now, if they didn't have the swim ability, they would have sunk all the way down to the bottom of the ocean, been eaten by these little fish things right here, they're really sharks, but yeah. But since they all have the swim ability, hold on, right here, um, it, it stays on level 1, but uh, yes, since they all have the swim ability, if they fall off into the water, they won't die, and that's something you definitely got to go. But anyways, back to the fight. Like, you got to get that first. I'll, I'll show you all how to do that and everything. But this is just kind of a, just like my uh, Minecraft video, this is kind of just like, um, me showing off like the end game and like uh, a lot of time I've put into it. So anyways, uh, my, my crew's taken quite a few hits. Once they get below 50%, you really want to like focus on that pirate so they don't die because I love all my pirates and I want them to live forever. So anyways, um, I have lots of small elixirs. I didn't buy a single one of these. I just got them. And like from a doing islands and, and fights and all that, but anyways, it heals up their HP 10%, and now that pirate who was at 31%, he is now at 81. So, then we'll do the same for uh, Outlaw, I call him Outlaw because he is wanted by the king apparently for shooting uh, the king with an arrow in a hunting accident. Uh, this is OJ, because he's a murderer. Yes, OJ is a murderer. I do believe he should have been tried and sent to prison. But that's just me. That's just me. Anyways, um, let's see. This is, this is Chef, because it's the, you know, Chef's knife and all that. Um, get him up. Uh, this is, uh, oh gosh. His boat. Oh, boat tells me I forget what this guy's name is. Oh, simple, simple, cause, yeah, I I gave my I gave all my my pirates nicknames. So I, I just haven't played this in a while. But yes, this is simple because, as you can see from his face, he's not really thinking about much. <laughs> Anyways, and then this is my this is Killjoy because he's constantly depressed. Even though now it does say he's constantly depressed, but for some odd reason his um his morale doesn't really go down that much. Which is a good thing, I'm not complaining at all, but yeah. So anyways, you can see lots of people leveling up. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um, so yeah, uh, this right here, this little um, blood drop right here on OJ, um, he, that's a bleeding effect, and you're going to have to buy bandages for that, just to where it stops the bleeding, because he will eventually just bleed to death. This also happened to um, uh, Outlaw right here. He also had the bleeding f effect applied to him. So then, you have to do that, because he will eventually die, so you have to get to a um, library of wisdom to uh, stop the bleeding, because that's the only place you can purchase it. So, anyways, um, we'll give him some vitality regen for Chef. But, uh, let's see, give a couple more of these, but yes, as you can see, I, I did have like 31 or 32 small elixirs, now I only have like 8 these legendary pirate fights, like all of my pirates are above level 10, which really you want all of your pirates to be a level 20, like at least above level 20, but since um, I have quite a few 
pirates who are really high level. Uh, I can do these kind of fights. But anyways, so we just took out all of them. As you could see, pretty big, massive fight here. Um, like. A lot of stuff's happening, people are getting shots and all that, and it gets even more crazy when you add in cannons. So, yeah, just be aware that, like, this game, the little things matter. Crazy thing is, the little things matter. So, definitely pay attention to that stuff. And these little urns right here, um... You actually get experience for um, shooting them, but as you can see in the, this uh, kind of combat log or whatever, um, it, I only get like a few coins. So really, it's only worth um, it's only worth trying to uh, shoot them just for that experience because it gives whoever gets the final kill on something or somebody. Uh, they get the most experience, but then uh, there's a small portion of that. I don't know how much. I would say like maybe 13 or like maybe 10% or whatever of that XP goes to um, uh, the rest of the crew. So it's like really important. And I saw someone had bleed on them. Yes, okay. So um, bleed, it, it's a very slow process, but since I don't have any bandages, I'm definitely going to have to go to a, a port. And I'll show you all kind of how that looks like. But, uh, you know, let's see. Oh, yeah, this this is our ancestor right here. He basically had sex with his sister. That's, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, immediately after you're done with the ship and you've looted all the stuff, like, I, I strongly suggest that you pick up every little one gold piece or whatever once you're first starting off, but once you're at my level, it doesn't really matter. Now, when you're on the ship, you have this option to um, either, like, have all your crew on the ship and capture the ship and then the ship will be yours forever and ever. Amen. Or you take all of your crew off and then you can hit this plunder button. Once you plunder it, as you can see, I got like uh, 819 gold and like some ship stuff and all that. But then it is gone forever and you, you will never ever see it again. Because the ships on this game, just like the islands and the towns, are all randomly generated. So... Um, let's see, we're looking for a place that has a library of wisdom, so, um, okay. See, level 3 pirate dangers aren't that big of a deal, I believe it's the level 5s, though, that are a big deal, so we actually might, uh, run into that. Yeah, we're gonna, okay, so, if you come in contact with, uh, a pirate danger, uh, like, it's on your route, not even necessarily that you're, like, stopping off there, then you're going to have to fight those pirates, so keep that in mind, especially if you can't see some area, uh, definitely be pre prepared because your map vision will not be this big. It will start off to where you can only see like a few blocks, like just the blocks around you and everything else you won't be able to see at all. So you, you want to get map vision and I think it's like map reading or something like that. So anyways, we're going to sell over there so we can get a bandage and... Um, I believe there's also a tavern there, which that's also really key in the game because um, the only way that pirates will be happy is if they, uh, they fight and then sometimes they, they even still get depressed. And so what you got to do is you got to feed them rum, which I do have some rum here, as you do see. And um, yeah, they, they'll be uh, drinking the rum. The stock supply, if you can see it right below uh, this pirate's health, it says there's 12 stock left. Uh, this is where I have food. Um, your pirates do get hungry, and if you don't have food, then they will again start mutiny. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, by the way, I did not name or give these pirates any attributes, but this guy's name is Brooks Horlatcher, and he had sex with his sister, so if that says anything, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, um, a glitch that is still known on this game, and uh, y'all should definitely... Uh, take notice to is if um, you get people who clean the, the ship and everything um, you can give them multiple you can give multiple people the cleaning ability and that's good and everything but um, just keep in mind that there's this weird glitch where like if three people are going to pick up the same piece of poop or beer bottle or I mean beer bottle rum bottle then um, 
like it just made this kicking sound for him, like where he was going to kick something off, but he really he didn't have anything in his hand. So it seems like there's an odd glitch about that. And this game's been out in a while, so I don't know why they have not fixed it. But uh, yeah. So anyways, you want to get all of your pirates. See, I I didn't get all my pirates right where they were bored. But yeah, you also want to know your boarding position so you can uh, effectively board a ship. But, um, yeah. I mean, since this is just level 3, you know, we clean them out real quick. Not a big deal. But, uh, definitely for the, uh, level 5 fights and above, you're definitely going to want to have all of your pirates ready. Because the other pirates can actually come and board your ship. And once they get on your ship, they'll be killing your animals and stuff. And you, I swear, you'll get really attached to them. <laughs> your little... 8-bit, eight, eight or almost 8-bit, your little pixel animals, you'll get attached to them, and you'll be very sad if they die. So, but anyways, yes, uh, this place does not have a tavern, so I guess we will stop off. Or no, yep, we'll have to go to um, Elf. Yes. Um, another big thing about this game is if um, you save the game, like, okay, you want to save the game every time you're going to sail somewhere, but every time you save the game, uh, and like you want to redo something, it will randomly generate into something else. So not all islands are final. They will, they're constantly changing. And um, yeah, so keep that in mind. If you really like, if you do, if you want to like re-roll uh, the structures or buildings out of town, then all you have to do is um, go over here, uh, double click to uh, reload the game. Go to that town, and I guarantee you it will have all new um, structures and stuff. And this is this is actually this is annoying, and this is helpful. Um, by it, it's annoying that if you if you get something good, but you absolutely need to restart, that you actually might get something that's worse, or you know something that you don't you don't exactly need. This is good though if you're having like a town that has like you have a bunch of towns that have um, a general store but you don't need a general store anymore you need a library of wisdom or something like that and yeah so but anyways yeah I don't know why I think this is why my, my crew's not happy is because they uh, they're just pooping everywhere and this weird glitch where they don't clean up the poop as well um, yeah so but anyways as you can see uh, these little things are going above these people's heads they're improving their weapons right now and lifting weights and uh, learning which this all costs money I believe it's 999 if you have a uh, if you have no world uh, renown which you get from doing bounties and killing legendary pirates but if you don't have a world renown then you, um, it's 999 gold and uh, the more fame you have or notoriety I would say uh, then the less stuff costs so that's good try to do all the bounties that you possibly can turn them in because the more famous you become the more cheaper it is the faster you can level up and so forth but anyways uh, this right here this is purely just for a captain and that's because I need to go to this library of wisdom right here so I can buy a a bandage for I believe ancestor because I think he's bleeding to death right now which it's a very slow process so you don't have to worry about it if uh, your pirate is affected by this but yeah so anyways yeah you can buy like tons of uh, skills and everything like all these skills they all matter these are grindstones you know they chances to uh, upgrade your weapons and stuff but yeah bandages they are so simple and very cheap, but you will need them. So anyways, then like I do, I come over to um person who has bleed. Does he not have bleed anymore? I, it says he doesn't have bleed anymore. I'm going to give him a bandage anyways. Where'd it go? But anyways, yes, all these items right here, they all... Oh, okay, yeah, no, he doesn't have bleed anymore. So yeah, but you can you can put uh, items like that into the um, in there. So like right when they get bleed or whatever, then it'll be applied to them, and you don't have to manually do it. Now that is waste. Don't be lazy, 
and do that. Put an item in there that actually matters, like a tribal totems they they drop from a tribesman, and it gives it's plus one damage. So that's pretty good. But um, there's lots of passives you can give your people and all that. But anyways, so um, you have to manage your food a lot. Like my pirates have all drank all the rum, so I'm gonna have to place. 10 bottles of rum in there. The food, that's completely drained out. Which, by the way, if it's any kind of meat or something that you would think needs to be cooked, and then you have to have a cook actually cook it, because then uh, your pirates won't eat it, and you might as well, oops, I deleted something else. You might as well not do it. You might as well get something that uh, doesn't require to be cooked at all. So, but yeah, I actually just deleted a ladder right here, which as you can see, uh, the hole, this is actually what can like get damaged and everything. The decor, uh, this covers like a wide uh, variety of things. Really the stuff that's going to matter is your wood walls, your wood deck walls, uh, deck wooden cannon walls so you can put cannons, ladders, uh, lamps, and the rest of the stuff is, um, it, it doesn't really matter. Now fish, um, they don't, I don't suggest buying these from uh, food merchants at all. But definitely buy the meat because it has the best um, quality, and like like best money per food or whatever. Fish, I only have those because I have people who fished it up. Um, sales, yeah, you got your bombs, which is cannon ammo. And you can also place sails to make your ship look cool. And then you can add your flag, which I wish they would have more colors, but um, when it's reset, it just looks like a normal skull, like minus all this red stuff, so... Anyways, <clears throat> now I'm going to stop this once we get to Elf, which would normally take somebody who was just starting off this game longer, because you literally start the game, well I'll show you all in my next video, but you literally uh, start the game with just a few wood hole uh, pieces and, and nothing more, and you kind of just build your ship up or you capture another ship which I I built mine all the way from scratch this is my own design but um you either keep on building your ship up from scratch or you capture another ship like a legendary pirate ship or some other ship um to do that now I, since it's just me I suggest that you you build your own from scratch because then you can kind of customize it the way you want which has uh lots of benefits but um it, this game, just like Terraria, there's so many ways you can skin a cat, and it's really your preference and the way you want to do it because it's one of those open games, open sandbox games that just has limit, uh, limitless opportunity, and really it's just your preference and style that you want to do. But anyways, as you can see, a lot of my uh, men, the morale is becoming low, so go to a place that has a tavern and send all your crew there <clears throat> and then they'll just drink rum till they become happy now if you don't you will have to pay their salary which restores the morale I have never paid my crew salary before and that's only because I am um, I always was uh, got to a tavern and I have it to where they don't lose morale as fast it's on easy mode for that but anyways, this is a weapon shop and a food shop, and you definitely want to keep up the rum. Because if you run out of rum and you're on the open seas and you can't get near a tavern, then you're screwed. Now, some taverns, they will charge you for um, you drinking, like, two gold per uh, bottle of booze or whatever. But I believe once you have, like, high enough uh, world renown, then that doesn't matter. So... Yes, it don't even try to keep up with the chat, especially when they're in a tavern, because they'll just keep on talking and talking, and there's it's just a bunch of random stuff most of the time. So, anyways, once they um, all have high morale, and you can check this by looking at the crew's overall cr crew's overall morale. Like once it gets past like 150, then I definitely need to stop them off. But anyways, uh, I get down like about below 50 and then I'm off again but as you can see um, if you if they were to drink all this rum just on the ship you would be spending buku amounts of money but if you come to a tavern it is all free and good
So anyways, um, yes, this is kind of in-game, what you're going to be doing, taking on legendary pirates, keeping up with your massive crew and everything. And um, as you can see, like, they level up while they're on the sea, and like almost all of them leveled up except for uh, Ancestor right here. Anyways, um, yeah. And Oh, one more thing before I go. This little thing right here, this is Hunger, uh, which can be shown right here. Once this comes up, you definitely need to have food access to them, or they can also then start a mutiny. Or I think they start slowly dying. Something like that. It's never happened to me, though, because I've always stayed on top of it, and you, you should do the same. So anyways, um, as they get all back on... Oh, yeah. Um, some pirates, they're slow, and you have to wait for them. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. I don't think you can leave a pirate on an island, but... Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll, as my promise to YouTube, I will upload more often, monthly, if not weekly, if I can, and as always, hang low.